A teenage girl with hopes and dreams of a bright future instead brutalized and sold for sex. I-team investigator Jackie Calloway follows her story from victim to convicted sex trafficker and her warning for young girls out there. Once upon a time, Tajana Joy dreamed of a bright future. I thought I was either going to go and sing at Disney. In 2008, the then 18-year-old won a High Achievers Award. But tragedy struck twice before Tajana graduated high school near Orlando. This is my mom. Her mother? Oh, this is my baby brother, Emmanuel. And baby brother died within six months of each other. Did you ever see yourself taking the path that you took? No, <laughs> not at all. It was hard. It was really, really hard. At 19, Tajana started dancing at an Orlando strip club to provide for her and her three younger sisters. That's where she met Waylon Rodriguez. At first, she says Rodriguez lavished her with attention to gain her love and trust. You get cuddled, you get shopping, you get food. It's a ploy pimps use, known as cupcaking. But soon, he began selling to Jana for sex. I didn't want to do it. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Court records show Rodriguez brutally beat to Jana repeatedly. He was a very violent guy. Retired Tampa Police Corporal Mike Victor worked with the FBI on the case against Rodriguez. This is probably one of the most violent pimp cases that I've ever seen. Punched in the face. That's, that was his favorite. I would be punched square in the face. Tajana showed us burns and scars. This one landed her in the ER. He took his foot and stomped my head into the marble floor. Abused, sold for sex, and even branded by her pimp. Tell me what it stands for. Get money. But then Tajana crossed the line from trafficking victim to child sex trafficker. When you hear the word Tajana Joy and convicted child sex trafficker in the same sentence, it breaks my heart. Tajana was still being sold for sex, but Rodriguez gave her a new role known as the bottom. Oh, I'm bottom. You're supposed to listen to me when you're not having to listen to daddy. The pimp himself is, is the person in charge of the organization. And the bottom is the person second in command. And they're the ones who take the money or train the prostitute on what to do or the victim on what to do. As a bottom, did you ever slap these girls? Yeah. How many times would you estimate that you slapped a teenage girl? Maybe 10, 15. Come on, let me see you. We obtained home videos used as evidence in the FBI's case against Rodriguez. It took her three seconds to think about what she was saying. You got it. Say no more. Now you snatch her phone out of her hand. Federal agents say the recordings show Rodriguez training to Jana and underage girls how to talk to and close the sale with potential Johns. You put your number in there, call your phone from it, so therefore you got her number, hand it back to her until I'm a holler at you. One of the girls being trained was just 17. My job was to show her how to do the dates, was to make her more comfortable with them. And she was a virgin. What's your biggest regret regarding her? <laughs> And that I didn't make her stay gone. I feel like I could have. Tajana finally ran away after getting pregnant. He repeatedly hit me in my stomach and in my face. While you were pregnant? Yeah. Rodriguez, Tajana, and another bottom, Priya Gunn, were convicted in 2012. Rodriguez is serving a life sentence for five counts of child sex trafficking. Tajana and Priya Gunn both pled guilty to conspiracy to engage in sex trafficking of a minor. I just wanted to make things right. And she must register as a sex offender. Tajana now lives in rural South Carolina, which is where we met. Tajana, yeah. Jackie, really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm 
It's also where she's raising her three children. No test it. Now, 30 years old, Tajana is sharing her story to warn other young girls who may be vulnerable to traffickers. I know that those girls had the same problems I had. And it's not fair for someone to be able to take advantage of it. It's not fair at all. She says her faith is helping her to make peace with the past. I've had to forgive myself for those things. I'm my team investigator Jackie Calloway, taking action for you. Our I-Team special reports on human trafficking continue next week. Meanwhile, head to abcactionnews.com slash I-Team right here. We've shared resources for victims and how social media plays a role in deterring sex buyers.